Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Veronique and in this video, we're going to have a look at how we can run a PowerShell script, grab the reports it generates on the user's desktop and send an email via Outlook client using Power Automate Desktop. And along the way, we're going to try to be as dynamic as possible. Let's do it. Okay, so I went ahead and I opened Power Automate Desktop. But before we jump in, let's think about what we are about to do. We want to run a PowerShell script. We want to start Outlook and we want to send an email via Outlook. This is very important when I say Outlook because it means that you need to have the Outlook client on your machine. So let's start. If we're going to scripting, we're going to have run PowerShell script. So let's drag that into the workflow. And this is where we are going to enter our PowerShell script. So I'm just going to grab one of my scripts that I have in a notepad. And I'm just going to paste it in here. I am pasting this code as if I was using it in VS Code. This is a simple function where I'm using the PNP PowerShell module, and I'm also using the import Excel module. And I will put the link in the description for both modules. What that function is doing is basically creating a report on the teams that you have in your tenant. And then it generates an Excel file that is placed onto the user's desktop. So I'm going to click on save. And now the second step would be to start Outlook. So I'm going to go into Outlook and launch Outlook. Every time you're going to open an app, whether it's Outlook or Excel, the default variable, it's going to be Outlook instance or Excel instance. I'm going to leave it as it is, and I'm going to click on save. All right. Now we need to send the email and we're going to need to refer to our file that is going to be generated when we're going to run the script. So I'm going to scroll down a bit and we have send email message through Outlook. And the information that you need to put in here is more or less what you would have if you were just sending an email via Outlook. So we have the recipient in the to field, the subject, the body, and at the bottom we have the attachment, except that at the top we need to specify an account that would be the sender. And one part that we are missing here is for the attachment. How are we going to know where the attachment is? Where is the file? We know it's going to be on the desktop. And what I could do is I could basically create a variable and hard code the path to my desktop, but we're not going to do this. Remember, we're, we're trying to be as dynamic as possible. So I'm going to cancel this and there's a specific variable that we can create. Let's go into folder. And at the bottom, we have get special folder. Let's grab this and put it at the top. This one is a built-in variable that can get the most common path that you would have on your machine. So here it's showing the desktop. If I expand the menu, I can have the music folder. I can have program file, pictures, and so on. But we know that our file is going to be put into the user's desktop. So we're going to leave it as it is. We're not going to change the variable either, which is special folder path. And we're going to click on save. Now that we have the path, we still need to grab the file name. So let's go back into the script. And if I'm scrolling down a little bit, this will be the name of the file. So I'm just going to copy that. And I'm going to create a variable. I'm going into variable and then set variable going to put it just after and I'm going to call it file name and I'm going to paste my file name. Let's click on save. And now we have our file path. We have our file name. We are going to run our script and we're going to start Outlook. So we are ready to send our email. For the account, we're going to enter the email address. So I'm going to put mine. 
We're going to send the email from an account, not any other mailboxes. For the to field, if you send the report always to the same person, you can hard code the value in here. If you're not sending it to the same person, or if you share your flow with somebody else, you could create a variable and put the recipient email address in it. But for simplicity, we're just going to hard code the value in here. For the subject, we're simply going to put Teams report, put a little message. And then for the attachment, we are going to use the two variables that we created at the very beginning. So click on the X for the variables. And we're going to have our special folder path. We are going to put the backslash because this is not part of the variable. And then we're going to click on the X again. And this time we're going to take the file name. So this is how we're going to construct our full path. Now let's click on save and we should be ready to run the script. But before we do that, I am going to put Alex's mailbox here so we can see it. Now let's click on run. And you can see that Alex just received the report. Brilliant. Let's open it. And that is what the script generated. A couple of tips to recap. If you want to use the send email message for Outlook, you need to have the Outlook client installed. You cannot use Outlook web app or any other email client. In that case, if you want to do this, you're going to need to use the action, which is called send email. If you want to use any of the path that's on the machine, then use the get special folder action. And finally, if you plan on giving that flow to somebody else, then you should use variables as much as possible.